final of Going for Gold with Henry Kelly. Welcome your host, Henry Kelly! Indeed. Hello and welcome to the final of this series of Going for Gold. A big welcome to our studio audience here at the BBC and you wherever you're watching us. Well, after all the weeks of heats and quarterfinals and semi-finals, and from among the 22 competing European countries, we are down to the last four contestants. And whoever wins today is going to get a magnificent silver engraved Going for Gold trophy and the runner-up will get exactly the same. And more to the point, they will take the title of European Television Quiz Champion and they They'll go to the Caribbean on the trip of a lifetime. Well, there you go. And of course, I don't forget you, the viewer at home. And uh, last time, I had the opportunity to ask you the last question for the present series. Because, of course, there's no point in asking you one today. I couldn't have you waiting around for a year for the answer. The last one was, which actor starred in Dirty Harry, Play Misty for Me, and Pale Rider? And the correct answer, Clint Eastwood. There you go, Clint Eastwood. Well, if you got the correct answer and the computer smiled favourably upon you, it means you have a year's free television viewing coming up. Let's get on with today's uh, Beat the Buzz Around. And it's an important one because, as I say, you see before you the final four in this year's Going for Gold. And I'll say hello to Didier Partouche from Paris. First of all, Didier, how are you today, sir? I'm fine, thank you. Down to the wire we go now, Didier. Now, Didier, I believe that your parents are originally Algerian, is that right? Yes. Uh, have, you, Lebron, yes. have you been to Algeria? Never. I've never been. been my parents uh, arrived uh, in, in France when it was in 1954, before the war. Right. And I've never been be be because of the events. And, uh, now. Right. I hope I can visit the places where I've been living. Right, OK. And you worked for eight months and lived in a kibbutz, is that yes, right? in Israel. It's a collective farm in Israel. Right. How did that come about, Didier? I just learned Hebrew at university and uh, I knew about the, the, what is, or kibbutz was and I wanted to try and I tried eight months in right. 1978. And was that enjoyable or was that enough? <laughs> it was an interest, interesting experience but I think uh, I wasn't strong enough to stay uh, all my life there. Right, I can well imagine. Didier Partouche, good luck to you in today's final on Going for Gold. We move to Jan Romberg from Stockholm, uh, from Swe representing Sweden. Now we had, when we started the final set of finals, uh, Jan, we had three, yourself and two colleagues. Okay. You are the surviving Swede among us. Yeah. How do you, have you feel? a bit proud about you that have now. To, you have to have one surviving Swede. Every programme should have at least one Swedish yeah. person on it. You're a bit... ...support all types of football, but I think that British football has something extra to it. I'm a Leeds fan myself. Are you? Now, a lot of people... ...a foreigner um, is, uh, is so... ...football. next year's World Cup finals? Well, I, actually, I'm hoping to, yeah. Right. right. I might get a business trip there <laughs> in the vicinity. Combine business with pleasure. Jan, the best of luck to you in today's final on Going for Gold. Billy Kenny from the Republic of Ireland, here you are again. Billy, you've been in this position at every one of the last four Going for Golds, and here you are now on the day when it really matters. Um, Billy, you toured as an actor with a drama group, is that right? That's right, yes. Uh, for, and for how long? Um, well, it didn't last too long. Uh, it, it, it never really, w really went from the start because um, we had a great big spread organised to launch the company and nobody turned up. <laughs> and um, Except they, we had a dignitary invited to perform the official opening. He arrived. Nobody else did. Oh dear. And the photographer came along to take all the photographs and uh, the next day announced that not one of them had come out. <laughs> and this then when we hit the road, um, I think our first outing, um, we did our publicity on the day and then we went down to the beach to relax for a while and 
got burnt to a centre, so we were walking around in pain that night. Right, <laughs> right. If you'd done a Shakespearean play, probably Othello would have survived. That <laughs> exactly. sort of, sounds like that sort <laughs> of company. Would have disappeared anyway. Right, <laughs> absolutely. OK, Billy, listen, thanks for being on the programme with us. The very best of luck to you in today's Going for Gold. And finally, we say hello to James Delos from Belgium, from Antwerp. And uh, James, you're about to get married, is this correct? That's right. Have you got the, the, the future Mrs. Delos in the audience to cheer yeah, you on? Yeah, she's here in the studio. OK, First right then. Right, OK. Well, that's very good. We're going to wish you guys all the very best of luck. Didier, Jan, Billy and James. Let me just remind you that in the Beat the Buzz Around and Going for Gold, the questions are in categories worth one, two or three points, depending on how you select. This is it, guys. I need three of you to go through to the next round, which is the four in a row round. The first three of you to score six. Jan wipes his palms. I need to do that myself, yes, and put on a clip smile. And we start, as we always do, gentlemen, and beat the buzz around, with a general knowledge question for one point. Which German tennis star partnered Michael Stick to win the 19th Belgium? Boris Becker. Correct answer. <laughs> James, best-selling authors is the category select. Two, please. Two points of best-selling authors. Which author created the character James Bond? <laughs> Belgium. Ian Fleming. Correct. Takes you to three. James, the category is transport. Select. Two, please. Two on transport. Which port city in the south of France is served by <coughs> Belgium James? Marseille. It is served by Marignane Airport. You've got Marseille and it was Marignane Airport I was looking for and you've gone to five on your own. The other's not a blow-in yet and the category is rivers. Select. Two, please. Two would put you in the next round. On which European peninsula does the river Tagus flow? <coughs> Republic of Ireland. Iberian. Correct. Two points. Billy from the Republic of Ireland, the category is music, select. Two points. Two to double your score, I'll put James in the next round. Meaning, in the style of the church, which Italian name into singing that is unaccompanied? <coughs> Sweden. Uh, Gregorian. Incorrect, which is Belgium. A cappella. A cappella is the correct answer, puts you in the next round. Puts you in the next round. It would, I suppose, be possible to do Gregorian chant a cappella, but that was not what we were looking for. We go back to a general knowledge question for one point. Who is the patron saint of travellers? <coughs> Republic of Ireland, Billy. St. Christopher. Correct answer. <laughs> Takes you up to three, halfway to being the third person, uh, to being the second person into four in a row. Events of 1992. Two points, please. Two points on events of 1992. Beginning with the letter G, which Mexican city was hit by a huge <laughs> gas? France. Guadalajara. Pardon? Guadalajara. Guadalajara, that's right, the gas explosions. <laughs> hit by huge gas explosions in 1992. European cinema is the category Didier Select. Two, please. Two, to double your score. Which Spanish director's films include Law of Desire and... <laughs> Strand Carlos Did Sauer. Pardon? Carlos Sauer. Incorrect. And Women on the Edge of a Nervous Breakdown. We're not going to get Pedro Almodovar today on Going for Gold. General knowledge question for one point. Under the terms of the US Constitution, a president is limited to how many terms? <laughs> Republic of Ireland? Two. Two terms of office. That's correct. Billy, the category is sport. Select. Uh, two points, please. Two to double your score. To actually put you in the next round, what am I talking about? With which sport is the name? Roberto Duran. Most closely, <laughs> France. Boxing. Boxing is correct. <laughs> Takes you also up to four, and the category is world religions. Select. You are Billy in the next round, and we'll get Jan off the mark. For the founder of which great Asian religion means enlightened one? <laughs> Sweden. Buddha. It's correct. You're off the mark. Right, Jan, you're off the mark, and the category is perfumes. Select. Um, uh, one, please. One. Worked out the tactics. From which language do we get the name Eau de Cologne? <laughs> Republic of Ireland, Billy. French. French is correct. <laughs> takes, you up, takes you up to five, and the category is science. Select. One, point. The one that you need. Which two elements combine to form carbon monoxide? <laughs> Republic of Ireland, Billy. Carbon and oxygen. That's the correct answer. You're in the next round. So that's the correct answer and Billy goes into the next round. Let's have a look at the scores. Didier, you have four. Two for Jan and the category is a general knowledge question for one point. Which famous German leader was born in Bruno and in France? Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler in 1889. Takes you up to five. You're one away from being in the last three and this year's going for gold in the category is the supernatural. Select. Two, please. Two on the supernatural. The Bermuda Triangle, where more than 50 ships have disappeared, lies within which ocean? Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is correct, and you're in the next round. Off you go, Didier.
Very well played. A very sporting gesture there from Yon, to whom we have to say goodbye, alas. Yon, it's been a pleasure to have you on so many going for goals. Boy, being, yeah? Well, thank you very much. Boy, did you get value for all the appearances on television. Keep supporting Leeds United. Take our best wishes back to the beautiful Venice of the North, which is Stockholm, and keep watching going for goals. Yon, well done. Thank you very much. Right, let's go across, let's go across to meet the last three in this, the seventh series of Going for Gold. Who shall go through to the head-to-head? -head? Who will be the winner? Who knows? All I know is that when they win, they're off to the Caribbean and it's all on us and they can take the family. Our Going for Gold champion will be staying at these fabulous destinations. Indulge in the wonderful cocktails and the delicious gourmet food. Take time out to enjoy the beautiful wildlife. There's just about every water sport you can imagine. Glorious sunshine, long sandy beaches, and crystal clear waters. All await our lucky champion. A truly unforgettable family trip of a lifetime. Yes, a marvellous prize for the winner of Going for Gold. You go to the Caribbean armed with the title of European Television Quiz Champion. Now, as you look at the contestants in four in a row, will it be James? Will it be Billy? Will it be Didier? Belgium, Ireland or France? James, you got into the round first. Your reward is the pick of the categories. There they are. Tennis, Faith and Belief, Waters of the World or Awards and Prizes. What will it be, James? I'll take tennis, please. Tennis. Will you come and join me here, please, James? As you arrive, uh, you might tell me, are you a tennis player? None at all. No, but a tennis fan, obviously. No, oh, it's not even the, that. It was the lesser of four evils. That's Is that right. it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we're doing it today in the finals. Right, James? Ready and happy to play? I am, thank you. Okay, let's put 40 seconds on the clock. There they go now. You have chosen tennis, and on that subject, your time starts. Now, on which court surface are the Wimbledon Championships contested? Ross. Correct. What was the married surname of the tennis player Billie Jean Moffat? King. Correct. The French Open Championships are held at the Stade... Roland Garros. Roland Garros, correct. After Manuela and Katerina, who is the third of the Bulgarian Malieva sisters to make the world top 20? Pass. Maggie. What is the Scandinavian nationality of the players? Anders Jerrod and Joachim Neustrup. Swedish. Nostrum. Correct. Was tennis reintroduced as a full Olympic sport in 1984 or 1988? 88. Correct. In 1969, who was the last man to win all four Grand Slam titles in one year? Newcomb. No, Rod Laver, the American who became the out of time. You got up to three in a row. It could well be enough to put you in the final and going for gold, James. <laughs> right. <laughs> Billy. Three is a high standard. Will you pick faith and belief, waters of the world, or awards and prizes? I can't take tennis, no. No, you can't <laughs> take tennis, no. I'll try waters of the world. Waters please. of the world. Billy has not lost his sense of humour, and good for you too. Billy, ready and happy to play? Yes. OK, we'll put 40 seconds on the clock for you. There they go now. You've chosen waters of the world, and on that subject, your time starts now. The Horseshoe Falls form part of which great North American waterfall? Niagara Falls. Correct. St. George's Channel joins the Irish Sea to which ocean? The Atlantic Ocean. Correct. Trinidad and Tobago lie offshore from the delta of which South American river? The Mississippi. No, the Orinoco. The North Sea Canal links which city to the open sea? Kiel. No, Amsterdam. Which is the largest ocean, the Pacific or the Atlantic? Pacific. Correct. Which long river rises north of Moscow and flows into the Caspian Sea? Volta. Incorrect. Volga. Incorrect. You said Volta first, it is the Volga. Bordering Switzerland, what is Italy's second largest lake? Como. No, Machiori. In which North American country are the Great Bear and the Great Slave Lake situated? Pass. Canada. Lake Eyre is a lake. Out of time, you've got two. We'll have to wait and see what happens when Didier arrives here. <laughs> right. Didier, will it be faith and belief or awards and prizes? Awards and prizes. OK, prizes. Didier, will you come and join me here, please, for I tell you. Four in a row and three in a row, you're in the final of going for gold for this series. Two in a row, you tie break with Billy. One correct answer is unthinkable, Didier, isn't it? We will dismiss it from our minds. It may happen. Curtly. Didier, are you ready and happy to play? I am. OK, let's put 40 seconds on the clock. There they go now. Awards and prizes is your subject. Now, which country won more gold medals in the 1992 Summer Olympics, France or Germany? Germany. Correct. Greta and Jorgen Ingmann of Denmark won which international song competition in 1963? European, uh, European Song Contest. Correct. The American actress awarded an honorary Oscar in 1991 was Marna Who? Pass. Loy. Which soccer World Cup trophy was permanently given to Brazil in 1970? World Cup. Football World Cup. I need the title. 
Uh, uh, world champion. No, incorrect. The Jules Lemoyne ah. Trophy. Named after the actress Antoinette Perry, what are the annual American Stage Awards called? Bath. They're called Tonys. Which organization founded in 1961 won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1977? Oh, Out of time, it was Amnesty. Look, Billy breathes a sigh of relief. Only two points for Didier. <laughs> right. Well, opera may not be over till the fat lady sings. Going for gold is not over until we have two finalists. Billy and Didier having tied on two points each. James can relax. He's in the final of Going for Gold. Please clear the score, scores adjudicators. We now have a beat the buzz around between Billy and Didier. The questions are worth one point each. The first one of you to two joins James in the final. What is my name? I am the fortified part of Russian cities. My best known example is in my... Kremlin. The Kremlin is the correct answer. One point. One point on the scoreboard already. Billy has won, and the computer would like to tell him how many times he has the one, but he just has it once. Didier, you have yet to score. Hands in the buzzes again. What is my name? I take my name from the Swahili word for journey and the Arabic word for... Safari. Is the correct answer. Is the correct answer. You've got through... You've got through to the final of going for gold, but spare a thought for a lovely gentleman. Didier Partouz, who's our librarian for the Natural History Museum in Paris. What a superman you've been right through the series, almost from day one, Didier. It's a delight to have had you on the programme, and thanks for being here. Thank well done. Now, now will it be Belgium or will it be the Republic of Ireland? Because Belgium, represented by James Delos, is in today's final, this year's final, this series final on Going for Gold. And up against James, we have Billy Kenny from the west of Ireland, representing the Republic of Ireland. Gentlemen, please follow me for the final of this year's Going for Gold. And why don't you come too? <laughs> So, after all the weeks, as I say, of heats and quarterfinals, semi-finals, we are down to the last two contestants in this series of Going for Gold. And Belgium will be playing the Republic of Ireland. On my left here, we welcome from Belgium James Delos, who's getting married soon, will today provide him with a very timely wedding gift. And on my right, Billy Kenny, fr Billy Kenny from Galway, who is an analyst programmer and has got to the final to fight it out to see who gets the prestigious title of European Television Quiz Champion, goes to the Caribbean and gets one of our two beautiful cups. James, you got into the round first. Let's play the final without further ado. The choice is up to you. The category is leaders. The clue is on the screen for you watching at home. On leaders, play or pass? Pass, please. Billy, you have control of the game in the four zone on leaders and your time starts. Now, I was born in 1918. I joined the army and helped to found the Revolutionary Free Officers Group, which in 1952 removed the monarchy of Egypt. I became first prime minister... Nasser. Nasser is the correct answer. <laughs> Answered in the three zone. Answered in the three zone. A clever tactic there from James yet again because he remembers that the question on going for gold in the final gets progressively easier and you may buzz in only when you have control of the game. Billy, you're playing catch up. The category is rock and pop. The clue is on the screen for you watching at home player pass. Yeah, I play. You take control of the game in the four zone and your time starts. Now, I am a singer and songwriter, born in 1959 in Kingston, Canada. At 16, I joined a rock band, and in 1979, I had my first hit as a songwriter with Let Me Take You Dancing. I wrote and performed Tears Are Not Enough at the Live Aid concert of 1985. I am probably best known for my hit, Everything I Do, I Do It For You. Written for the film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, I was looking for Brian Adams and you'd run out of time. James, you have still three in the board. Billy, you've no score. You're playing catch up again in the category is languages. The clue is on the screen for you watching at home on languages play or pass. I play. You take languages in the four zone and your time starts. Now, I am an Indo Aryan language originating in the region between the Ganges and Jamuna rivers near. Urdu. Is the correct answer in the four zone. <laughs> Takes you up to four. James, you're playing catch-up with three points. Countries is the category. The clue is on the screen for you watching at home and countries play or pass? I'll pass. Pass countries over to Billy, who has control of the four zone, where a correct answer puts him one away from the championship and his time starts. Now, I am a country of South America, covering an area of over 175,000 square kilometres. <laughs> Billy. Brazil. Incorrect. It means, James, you have control of the game. Time passes to you and continues. Now, I was colonized first by the Portuguese and by the Spanish before my independence was granted in 1828. <laughs> James. 
Peru? Incorrect. It means, Billy, you have control of the game. Time passes to you and continues. Now, almost four-fifths of my land area is covered by grasslands, which support... <coughs> Argentina. Incorrect. It means, James, you have control of the game. Time passes to you and continues. Now, large herds of sheep and beef cattle. I am bordered on the north and northeast by Brazil. <coughs> James. Uruguay. That's the correct answer. <coughs> Takes you up to five. Takes you up to like a good game of tennis that James took in the four in a row round. James, you've got five. Billy, you're on four and you're playing catch-up. The category, art and artist. The clue on the screen for you watching at home play or pass, Billy. I play. You take control of the game in the four zone. Yet again, a correct answer puts you one away from the championship and on art and artist, your time starts. Now, I was born in Aix-en-Provence in 1839. In the early days of my career, my works were rejected by art critics and I became associated with a group of impressionist artists, including Pizarro, Renoir and Degas. I later developed a new... James. Monet. Incorrect. It means, Billy, you have control of the game. Time passes to you and continues. Now, I later developed a new form which influenced... Lautrec. Incorrect. It means that you have control of the game, James. Time passes to you and continues. Now, the development of Cubism. I am regarded as one of the greatest of the post-impressionists. My surname begins with C. I am Paul who? James. Pizarro. Incorrect. It means, Billy, you have control of the game. Time passes to you and continues now. Out of time, Paul Cezanne, I was looking for Billy, you're playing catch-up again. Can we all stand attention? The category is European regions. The clue is on the screen for you watching at home. Play or pass? I play. You take European regions in the four zone and your time starts. Now, I am a famous region of a Western European country occupying an area of 70,553 square kilometres. To my east, I am bordered by the Czech Republic and to the south by Austria. In my... James. Bavaria. Is the correct answer. It takes you up to eight. It takes you one away from winning this year's Going for Gold and Billy, you're playing catch-up. The category is the economy. The clues on the screen for you watching at home. Billy, play or pass? Uh, I'll play. You take control of the economy in the four zone and your time starts. ...condition on which statistics are gathered by government offices in most countries and have come to be regarded as a chief indicator of economic health. In recent years and to different degrees, I've been a problem for most European <coughs> governments. James. Inflation. Incorrect. It means, Billy, you have control of the game. Time passes to you and continues. Now, I am the condition of one... Billy. Recession. Incorrect. It means, James, you have control of the game. Time passes to you and continues. Now, I am the condition of one who is capable of working and actively looking for... Yes, James. Unemployment. Yes, James. It's unemployment. Well you son of a gun. Well done. Billy, the hardest of luck. What a fantastic win. Well, there you go. I tell you, this man, this man, I don't think anybody will deny, is the deserving winner of the seventh series of Going for Gold. You have got nerves that frighten the life out of me, James de Los, from Antwerp and Belgium. You've got the pre-wedding present that you really wanted to get because you're this year's champion on Going for Gold. Very well done indeed, sir. Absolutely excellent. Good night. Terrific. I'm really, really pleased for you. But spare the call for a very, very gallant a flyer from Galway, Billy Kenny from the Republic of Ireland. In time-honoured fashion, I'm going to ask you to put your hands together as I give Billy his runners-up cup. Billy, congratulations to you. Very well done indeed. Excellent. Excellent. For you, James, it's the winner. Congratulations on winning Going for Gold. Not only do you get the trophy, not only do you get the title, but you're off to the Caribbean. Well done. Bring it. Give it a wave up there. Well done. Well done. Now, I'm sure... And before we say goodbye from this series, I'm sure that both Billy and James would like me to invite on the other two very fine contestants who got to the last four of this year's Going for Gold. Yawn and Didier, please. Well done. Well done, guys. Thank you very much. OK. Well done. Didier, there you are. Just stay there. Right. Thank you very much. That's all from us. From all of us in Going for Gold, horse, foot and artillery. From the winner, the runner-up, and the last four and me. Goodbye until the next series, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, you absolute star.